Guys, I gotta talk about something that's been bugging me. This logo over here has been misused by Xbox On, which is not saying they're wrong and bad, it's just they're misusing it, I feel like. Yet, I understand why. And I'm here to tell you why the, whenever a news outlet tells you that the game you're looking at or the one they're talking about and they slap this logo on the screen and say the game fully optimized or is fully utilizing the hardware of your new next generation console Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S, they're lying. And so I'm going to educate you so you come to understand that it's actually a little more in-depth and complicated than just slapping this logo and saying, whoa, this game's gonna run amazing on your new console. Uh, stick around and you'll find out why. So to start off, like I said, Xbox On, I'm not attacking them, I'm just saying their wording bugs me when I see it, yet I am technically what you would call an educated gamer, or a pro gamer, hardcore gamer, whatever you want to label it. The thing is, I understand things more than your average consumer, and if you're watching this, and you do, give it a thumbs up, and if you don't, well, come here to learn and be educated. So, the thing is, this logo stands for Optimized for Xbox Series X, or S, and I'm just going to refer to the Xbox Series X from here out but whenever this thing gets slapped on a video game and you won't be able to play it on a normal HDD you know a slow hard drive you're gonna have to play it on an SSD that is optimized for the Xbox Series X and right now it's only the internal one and the one you can buy for about $200 that you just you know slide in there which is not expensive people relax that SSD is super fast and for the price it's not that bad that logo then means that the game has one or more features specific to the Series X, uh, meaning that that hardware is required to play the game from here on out, unless you're downloading it directly on one of the old consoles, like the Xbox One X or the Xbox One S. The thing is, whatever that logo, I feel like Microsoft and Xbox have gone a little too broad, but yet I kind of understand why, because your average consumer is not gonna care. They're not gonna care that, for example, Dead by Daylight, they slapped it Thing on top of the game and then they called it optimized for series x well that one all it did was bump up the fps to 60 fps and 4k resolution and lower the loading times yet let's break it down the loading times by nature are going to go much faster than your old xbox because of the ssd just the raw nature of it it's kind of like putting a four cylinder engine versus a v8 engine they're going to fight it and of course the v8 is just by raw nature going to crank up be more powerful and be more capable than the four cylinder just by the nature of the hardware then you have games like fortnite uh, they actually just bumped up the resolution and the fps plus some graphical things here and there lower the loading times yet there's this thing called Velocity Architecture, and it involves more than just hardware. It involves software and some other things when it comes to actual loading times and how much how assets work on the video game that most of these games don't even fully utilize, even if they patched it, because the thing is, they have to be built up with the right tools from the foundation. If you allow the, if you keep legacy technologies, like if your game needs to run on a hard drive that spins around, you know, like the old Xbox One, then it's not gonna be able to fully gr grasp the technology and the design choices that you're going to take are going to have to revolve around the fact that there's going to be a slower version of this game unless you wanna completely separate them and literally not allow the old version to be compatible with the new one in any way shape or form so you know what i'm saying here like you get the picture how games will get designed from the foundation they need to be built with the velocity architecture ignoring the slower drives and that is something Microsoft has said that they're going to take advantage of two years after the console's launch. And I'm okay with holding on to the old consoles, by the way. I don't want to alienate them. And if you have any more questions about this stuff and it's getting a little weird, let me know in the comment section below or hit me up on social media on the Ren World 7. And by the way, if you want to see the loading times of some of these games on the Xbox Series X, don't forget to come over to my YouTube channel and visit this playlist up here with a little bubble on top. There, I take care of whatever games you, the community, ask me to check out, and I'll give you loading times and gameplay. 
a game that truly takes advantage of well truly man see see that's why it's so hard and, and i don't blame the news outlets uh gears 5 for example 120 fps mode fits in higher resolution higher graphics more graphic power uh, uh, features than the pc version even you know higher than ultra and whatnot like though that's a optimized for series x even then though Gears 5 runs on the old hardware, and so I am sure that it does not fully utilize all the features in hardware, even pa past the creative vision of the game on the Xbox Series X. And that's okay. I think whenever we get this truly exclusives for the next gen consoles, we'll see some things that are going to blow our minds. And I think Microsoft's fine with that. And I understand why. I have some friends that honestly, they cannot afford right now, especially with the you know current conditions in our world, they cannot afford to go out there and get a Series S. They can't get a Series X. They're stuck on a One S. And I'm glad Microsoft's not dumping them and not ditching them. And yes, third party developers can do it, but I'm glad that Microsoft's holding on and yeah, it'll hurt the development of future technologies, but that's okay, man. Let's give so let's give technology a little slow and let's enjoy the fact that our old games on the Series X are gonna run amazing. Oops, moved it. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you have any more questions about Xbox, let me know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell and a like along the way so you get notified whenever I release new videos. And if you have any questions, come visit me over at Reddit or social medias under N107. And by the way, little bubble on top for a free Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Appreciate if you guys uh, hit the like button. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Again, let's go gaming. And by the way, I hope you can get an Xbox Series X because it's hard out there. Stay strong, stay patient. And may the force be with you. Peace.